we're at 100 percent charging complete here at the supercharger so drum roll let's go here and see how many miles we got hey what's going on everybody today we're talking about battery calibration so in the tesla community there's a lot of these different um, kind of rumors that spread about how to do all kinds of different things and one of them is calibrating your battery so you'll notice sometimes that when you charge to a full charge 100 uh, percent your battery instead of saying what it's supposed to say so mine is supposed to say 310 miles it'll say maybe 305 or 300. A reason I'm calling this a rumor is there's nothing in the manual at all talking about battery calibration. Uh, usually Tesla tells you how to treat your battery. They tell you to plug it in all the time, what level to charge to, all those kind of things, but they don't mention anything about calibrating it. So, you know, if it was something that needed to be done occasionally, I think it would be in the manual. Also, when you just charge to say 80%, you know, it's supposed to say, I think it's 247 for me for 80%, it'll say 240. And so it's kind of like, is my battery degrading or what's going on? And then you'll always get this response, oh, your battery's just not calibrated. You need to run it down to below 20% and then back up to whatever. So there's all kinds of things that people say. Um, and so what I wanna do is I wanna test and see if that actually works. Uh, here's a chart of what my battery's been doing lately. You can see in the last few days, my range has been going down pretty quickly. It's always hovered around 306 miles as my 100% all the way up to 309. Um, I've even had it go up to 311 before as 100%. So there's two options here. Either my battery isn't calibrated or uh, my battery is starting to degrade. Um, to see such a quick downslope like that, I would not expect degradation. There is one other possibility here. As you get software updates, Tesla can change the BMS, the battery management system, and either not tell us or there's some kind of bug. One thing people don't always realize is your battery percentage that is shown on the car, it's just an estimate. There's no physical way to know exactly how much the battery is actually charged. There's just a lot of math going on and the computer is doing its best with the voltages and different measurements it can take at the battery to guess what the percentage is. Now it's super accurate, it's very accurate, but it is true that if the battery only stays between let's say 50% and 80% for a really long time, it can kind of get off a little bit and the calibration is wrong. So we're gonna test and see if, if this works. So I've heard all kinds of ways that you can calibrate your battery. The most common you'll hear is you need to run your battery below 20% and then charge at least up to 90% and then it should be calibrated. If it doesn't work, just do it again. In my case, I only use maybe 30% a day. So if I wanna calibrate it without doing a bunch of extra driving, it's gonna take me days to calibrate. And then there's more extreme suggestions. Some people say you have to get below 10% and then you have to charge all the way to 100%. I've even heard some people say the best way to calibrate is to go below 10% and then go to a supercharger to go all the way to 100%. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just test the most extreme versions of this. So I'm gonna go below 10% charge and then I'm gonna charge all the way to 100% at home. And if I don't gain some miles that way, if it doesn't seem to get calibrated, then I'm gonna repeat it as people will suggest. I'll go below 10% again and then I will go to a supercharger to get back up to the 100%. That way we're repeating the calibration process, we're doing it at a supercharger, all these different things. Or if it stays the same and maybe it's just software updates that are causing you know, my fluctuation in range. Okay, so you can see here I've routed home. By the time I get home, I'll have 15% left, uh, which is a little too much. I want to be below 10%. I can make that lower by driving fast, driving inefficiently, accelerating quickly, uh, using sentry mode, stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to drive around a bit just to be sure that I'm below 10% by the time I get home. I actually could make it all the way back to work uh, with 3%. So I'm gonna work on getting that lower so that by the time I get home, I'm below 10% and then I will charge to 90% overnight. And then when I wake up, I'll increase the limit to 100% and let it charge all the way. I needed to do some creative driving to get my uh, percentage down. It was saying I was gonna arrive home with 11%. Couldn't allow that. I think we made it home with 7%. So let's see, we're at 21 miles right now at 7%. Let's change to percentage, see what it says. So we have 7%. So 7% of 310 is actually right around 21. Um, so according to that, uh, the calibration is, is looking really good. So we have a lot of charging to do. I'm gonna charge up overnight to 90 or 95%. So we can up this. Let's throw it up here somewhere. Looks pretty good. Um, and in the morning, I'll finish the charging all the way to 100%. And we'll see if we can hit uh, 310 miles right here on this number. All right, so here we are charging at home. Charging complete 100% uh, is 298 miles. 298, charging complete. Uh, it actually, when it was done, it said 300 miles and it's lost a couple sitting here. 
Um, so that's the home uh, attempt at calibration. Uh, did not work. So we're gonna head to a supercharger and try this again. All right, so it's a couple days, a few hundred miles later. I mean, come on, who else is wasting hundreds of miles worth of fuel for you just to test this stuff out? So I'm going to the supercharger here, about to get on the highway. You can see I only have 44 miles left. Uh, we are predicted to arrive at the supercharger with 8%, I think, uh, 9%. Uh, so that's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna drive a little fast. Anything lower is, is better. As long as we don't get there with 10%, we're all good. Uh, and then we'll plug in. I'm gonna be there for a while. Charging up to 100% is gonna take a bit. Uh, and then, oh, what's going on here? Geez, that truck was a jerk. <laughs> it's always fun waving at the other Tesla drivers. I am really hoping this calibrates my battery. If we switch between energy and distance, you can see 13%, 39 miles. That would be 40. Uh, so 40% of 310 is, or sorry, 13% of 310 is 40 miles. So that's really close. So I've seen twice now that on the low end of the battery, this is very accurate. On the high end is where you're not getting, you know, the, the range that you're supposed to be getting. So I'm wondering if this time we let it finish getting to 100%, and then we'll get an actual real 100%. One more example here, 10% is 31. Obviously 10% of 310 is 31. So again, at the lower end of the battery, these percentages are exactly correct. Um, so this is giving me some optimism here. Uh, and just a message, running your battery really low or charging it really high isn't great for it. Um, doing it a few times isn't gonna kill it, but you wanna avoid it if you can. I mean, if you need the range, just use it, don't worry about it. But what's more important is not leaving it stored at these ranges. Check this out. I went to plug in and it like felt loose. I don't know if you can see, but it's looking pretty goofy in there. Have to report that to Tesla. All right, we're charging. We're immediately at 139 kilowatts. Um, hopefully that'll go up a little more. It should hit 150. And we're gonna also raise our limit here. And it says 55 minutes remaining, so not too bad. Let's hope at the end, this says 310 or something very close to that. All right, so we're currently at 46%. It's going really quick, uh, but let's do a check-in. Uh, we'll switch to miles and see what it says. Okay, so now we're at 47%. So let's switch to miles. So 140 at 47%. 141. So we'll say 141 at 47%. And that's actually supposed to be 146. Uh, so now we're falling behind, now that we're higher up in the battery range. So we're about to hit 50%. It should be, there it is, 155 miles, and we're only at 148. So we are lagging behind. And this is where you may need that additional time at the 100% at the top end for the car to figure out, oh, you know, I thought I only had this many miles, but really I'm adding some more. I have some more room and we have more miles than I thought. So 51 is 151. So yeah, we're just a little bit behind here. All right, switching back to the phone. GoPro is a little wide for me. So you can see we're at 100%. We are still charging very slowly. If we switch it over to distance, we're now at 300 miles. So we've been at 100%, but we've gained a few miles. So it's getting close, um, but I don't know. I hope that it would hurry up um, so I can leave. While we're waiting for these last few kilowatt hours to squeeze into the battery, let me tell you about my sponsor, the Model 3 Part Shop. They have some really cool stuff on their website. The link is below in the description and you can use the code DIRTYTESLA to get 15% off anything site-wide. Okay, charging is finally complete. That took forever. You can see my screen turn black because like the sunset. Um, but anyway, we're at 100%. Charging complete here at the supercharger. Just to prove to you, I am here. So drum roll. Let's go here and see how many miles we got. 300. So that's it. So in my case, calibration didn't do anything. It didn't change my maximum range or anything like that. I went below 10%, up 
up to 100% at the supercharger at home, um, and it did nothing. So is this actually real battery degradation? Have I lost 10 miles of range? Um, I'm, not, I'm not convinced of that. You can also see, while I was sitting here, I got a software update. So I have to go home, connect to Wi-Fi and download that. Um, and I'm gonna try this again, and I will update you in the comments and see if I can get my range back through that software update.